So when it comes to the officer who shot and killed Tamir Rice, uh, to remind you guys, he's the 12 year old who had a toy gun, who uh, police officers pulled up and shot him in less than two seconds. Uh, well, he uh, is not going to have any justice because the officer who shot and killed him will not even be indicted. So it's not even going to go to trial to let a jury decide. He's not going to be indicted. He's getting away scot-free. Uh, and I think this is really, really sad. I mean, this is a 12-year-old child. I have a nephew who's also 12 years old. And, you know, this is unimaginable. I can't, I can't even imagine what the family of Tamir Rice is going through right now. Uh, and not to mention, her, uh, his, his sister was assaulted by police officers when she was trying to figure out what was going on at the time. So, I mean, this family has suffered such a great injustice. Uh, and the fact that they're not even going to have the chance to um, plead their case to a jury, it's honestly sickening. And it, much like the Eric Garner case and the other cases that the Black Lives Matter movement is consistently, you know, talking about and spreading awareness about, it just shows that we have to have criminal justice reform. I mean, not all cops are bad, obviously, but they have to be able to defuse situations. And furthermore, I mean, it's widely known that the police officer in this case was unfit for duty. I mean, he was literally deemed unfit for duty, and yet not even an indictment. I mean, as we all found out about, you know, the, uh, the Mike Brown case, you can indict a ham sandwich if you really wanted to. It's easy. But again, no justice. And, you know, it's just really disheartening because... Of all the cases, I think this one is the most upsetting for me, just because, again, 12, a child. Uh, so, yeah, I just wanted to put that out there in case you guys weren't aware of this. It's a couple of days old at this point, but um, I couldn't not talk about this because it's absolutely egregious. It flies in the face of human rights. Uh, and again, just my mind is blown. Like, I, I can't come up with the words. I can't articulate what I feel other than just disappointment. Because it's, it's just so upsetting. I mean, a kid, a little kid, killed, 12 years old. That's very, very young. <sighs> yeah.